Welcome to the 5D um, Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm Zaratustra, your host, I'm broadcasting live from Tulum, Mexico. This is my new home, and uh, I welcome you all to come and visit me. Sending you lots of love and light from this very powerful magnetic uh, vortex on the planet. And uh, it seems like it's really vibrating because people coming here from all over the world. And uh, I, I went to my old hotel today and talked to uh, the staff uh, because I stayed there for one month and I kind of bonded with them. And I asked him, is it slowing down? And, and they say, it's never been like this before. People keep coming. And uh, normally this is a seasonal place and this is the end of the season, but there is no sign of slowing down. So people are very gravitated to this place from, from all over the planet. So the topic of uh, this week, we're going to talk about the spiritual seekers challenges. For a lot of us, it's a long road. It's got a lot of ups and downs, a lot of different challenges that happen. And a lot of it has to do with where you're at on your awakening process. Where are you in this wheel of evolution when it comes to awakening? And I don't have a measurement stick to find out where each person's at, unless when I start working with them, especially when I do the live training program, because I'm spending three to four months with uh, my students then I can tell where they're at. After a while, I can tell where they're at in their evolution, spiritual evolution, because it becomes apparent to me how fast they can catch things and how attentive they become or how focused they get. So, but as for myself, I had to go through a lot of challenges. Um, I mean, when I came across this information, um, a part of me really recognized it right away because I was very hungry, very thirsty to learn and find a teacher, a spiritual teacher to teach me. And, uh, so a part of me was really super thirsty, but a part of me was also a kid. A part of me also was like immature and uh, wanting to go party, wanting to go um, play around, which there's nothing wrong with that. But my attention was more on party than the actual work. So... And eventually they kind of blended into one another. And, uh, but it took a number of years. I would go into getting focused and really being 100% into it to completely losing my focus and going into a different direction. So in the years that I went to India, um, and coming across all these beautiful teachers like Punjaji, Papaji, my sat guru, uh, coming across Amma, the hugging mother, uh, even though she wasn't my teacher, but you're in their vibrations, you come across them. Um, it took me a while before I really could understand. It took me a while before my ears, my heart, my eyes could really see. I mean, of course, your eyes see in, in physical world and your ears hear, but spiritual ears and spiritual heart, um, for it to open, 
So you can hear what the teacher or existence is telling you, that's a different story. But one of the challenges is that what I've noticed is most spiritual seekers today um, are looking for instant grat gratification. They're looking for something quick, shortcut. And it's like, give me a pill. So I just try to give me a pill or do your hands like this and do some voodoo on me. And then I'm enlightened or all my, my problems are, they disappear. And it just doesn't work that way. You, you have to do the work. You have to go through the process for a lot of us. Again, it depends on where you're at. But for most of us, we have to do the work and no one else can do it for you. So you have to do it. And so how do I do the work? How do I do the work? Because basically the general mentality is that give me something to do and I'm gonna do this so I get this kind of result. From doing this, I get this, these results. So that's the general mentality. And if I don't get this result, since it's fast paced these days, everything is fast, same as the spirituality. So this becomes a really a big challenge because you want it fast and you're doing something, you're not getting results and immediately you want to drop it and move on to the next feature. Oh, there's a new thing coming. So especially in the younger generations, they're just going from one thing to another and another and another, and they're miserable. Because we're not learning a system that help us to dive into inner silence, inner peace. We're being taught methods that activate our minds because we want instant gratification. And in this particular teaching is basically, it's based on paying attention, paying attention. So, and a lot of times people, they're not paying any attention. I mean, you talk to them and you teach things, but they're not listening to you. They're not hearing what you say. And if they do hear what you say, they're not implementing it in everyday life because the teachings and the wisdom must be experienced directly by you. You're the one who ha has to experience it. And when are the times that the spiritual seeker learns something or advances? They, we mostly advance and learn something when we're in pain, when we're challenged, when we're in some sort of something dramatic tra or traumatic has happened in our lives and we're in that state. So that's where existence gets us. And now we're paying attention.